Hi, and welcome to Sparkle Tart. Today, we're looking at magicals. What are they? Hi guys, I thought for my very first technique demo for the kissing class, I'd show you one of my favorites. Now, if you've watched me for a while, you'll have seen me using these before. They are Lindy's Stamp Gang Magicals, and they're gorgeous. So what's a magical? Don't worry, I'll show you. For those of you who are new to magicals, I'll explain what they are. They're a product produced by Lindy's Stamp Gang and they're a powdered paint with a dye base. And you can see that the powder in the pot doesn't look a whole lot like the color on the label, especially not when it's dry. The secret with these is you need to wet them. Now you can use water, alcohol, gel medium, anything as long as it's wet enough to activate the dye in the powder and produce that beautiful color. You can see in the lid of this one, it's got some shimmer. Not all magicals have shimmer. So let me explain the difference between the Lindy's Stamp Gang magicals. Now, Lindy's Stamp Gang will tell you that there are two types of magicals, flats and starbursts, but they come in five different flavors and I'm gonna show you what those are. These ones are the flat magicals from Lindy's. They are transparent, and like all of the others, they are a powdered paint with a dye base. They're gorgeous. Now, the magicals, or the flat magicals as these ones are, are either transparent or opaque. For me, that's two different kinds. For example, Plumeria Pink is quite transparent when applied over a project. You can see the text through it still. But if you were to use the flat magical in, let's say, sidewalk chalk, that is opaque. Sidewalk chalk is so opaque that if you layer it a few times, even on black cardstock, it'll obscure the color of the cardstock. So I call that my second kind of flat magical. So you've got flat magicals in transparents and opaques. The next kind of magical is the starbursts. Now these are all transparent and they all have shimmer and they are my absolute drop dead favorites. Hands down gorgeous and beautiful. Pick any of these and you cannot go wrong, they're lovely. Again, the same product is in each of the containers. You can all use them all the same way. Now, these are what I call my pearls. These are, again, starbursts, still magicals, and anything in the Drop Dead Diva set or the Nantucket Pearls set has a pearly shimmer to it. So the Drop Dead Diva, which is the high maintenance magenta and the Sassy Sapphire, have a high shimmer pearl, and the Nantuckets are a bit more subtle. Now, the newest addition to the Magicals family are the Magical Shakers. They have an awesome little two-sided cap the first side has a little set of holes like a salt and pepper shaker. The other side is what I'm calling the wide mouth lid. <laughs> and it means you can tip a whole lot of product onto something in a very short amount of time, should you want to. Now these are also technically starbursts because they have shimmer, but the shimmer is a bit different in these. While it's still a powder and it's still a shimmer and you can use them exactly the same way as you do all the others, the shimmer gives more of a satin effect. So when it dries, the shimmer looks a bit more like satin fabric. So I call these ones satins. So basically you've got flat magicals in transparent or opaque. You then have starburst magicals in the starburst and the pearl and the satin. And all of them are beautiful effects. So technically there's only two, the flats, which have no shimmer, and the starbursts, which have a shimmer of some sort, but there's variation in all of those colors, but they're all stunning. Pick any of them, you'll love them. Would you be surprised to know that both of these backgrounds were made with the one black magical shaker? It's true. The beautiful, even colored one was made when you mix the product properly with water. Lovely. This slightly grungier, spottier one is the result when you don't mix the color properly. Both are equally lovely. So I'm gonna show you how to use your magicals in a couple of different ways. 
So what do you do with the magical powder? Now I've got a whole video clip explaining this which I'll link right here and it's called six ways to use magicals. So what I'll show you now are a couple of ways that I didn't include in that first video. So here are some extra ways to use magicals including the new shakers. I'm going to show you the shaker first because it's brand new and you'll probably want to see what it can do. So the first and easiest way to use this is to tip a little into a mini mister filled with water, give it a really good shake to mix it up and activate the dye and use it as a spray. They're beautiful. Now the only problem you might have is some of the sprayers can have a very fine nozzle and the little particles of shimmer can sometimes get stuck. So check your sprayer first. I find the mini misters work great. Dry it off with a heat gun for a super smooth gorgeous effect. Those edges are just watermarks. And that was Black Forest Black. And you can see what I mean by the satin effect. Isn't that beautiful? And all of the shakers have this gorgeous satin shimmer effect. Now this next idea works absolutely amazingly with the new magical shakers. Now you can do this with any set of magicals by using a either a fan brush or a soft brush, but the magicals make it so, so easy. All you'll need to do is use a piece of watercolor cardstock and you just have to tap a little bit of the magical powder over the piece of cardstock and then spritz it with the water. Now make sure you spritz from a sort of a fair distance just so it adds liquid without blowing the powder off the cardstock because some of those sprayers can be quite forceful. Now if you add a small amount of water, the dye colour in that powder will not mix properly and it will reveal all of the individual colours of dye that go into making up that black colour. So you'll get little pops of red and yellow and pink and purple. It's fantastic and that makes a really, really cool background if that's the look you're going for. Now if you'd like it a little bit more mixed or a little bit more watery, you just add a bit more water and as you can see, you get the most gorgeous patterning and effects. It's lovely. Now you can leave it to air dry and the colours will blend a little or you can dry it with a heat gun or you can pat with a paper towel. It takes some of that dye off before it sinks into the paper and you get this really pretty soft, almost a pastel effect. And that was from the black. Now if this is too pale, super simple. All you need to do is add a bit more of the dye powder and a little bit more water. And you can do this as many times as you like to get the color and effect that you want. It's fantastic, it means that you almost can't make something you don't like because you can keep adding more and changing how it looks. So all I'm doing is sprinkling a little bit more dye powder on. It's nice, it's dark, it's gorgeous, but it's still got some of those little pops of color in there. And that is just because I haven't added a super huge amount of water. So let's have a close look. You can see all those yummy little colors. Now, getting it to stay that way is the trick. There's only two choices. Dry it with a heat gun so the colors don't have time to blend and mix, which is what happens if you let it dry uh, naturally, air dry, uh, or you can pat it with a paper towel. But as you saw before, that makes a much paler color. Next, I'm going to look at mixing some light molding paste from Golden and the High Maintenance Magenta Magical. Again, super, super simple. Tip a little bit of the powder into the molding paste, mix it really, really well, and you see you get this gorgeous consistent color super bright super fantastic and it doesn't change the consistency of that molding paste in any way so it doesn't make it watery or any different than it would usually be now the golden molding paste has just enough sort of liquid content in there to activate the dye color so you get a beautiful even color now if you'd like something a little bit spottier and a bit grungier just don't mix the magicals quite so well with the paste and you'll get little flecks of different colors. But is that not a gorgeous, super simple, awesome, awesome background? <laughs> now the last really cool way to use magicals is on a palette. All you really need to do is add a few drops of water and add a tiny little bit of magicals and mix them well 
to make a beautiful, consistently coloured paint. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that you can just continue adding water to them even after they've dried to reactivate the dye. Now, this is about my fifth reactivation. As you can see, some of the colours are just as beautiful as they would have been when you first mixed them. The turquoise, on the other hand, has a few little dark bits in it that just won't dissolve. But as I said, this is about the fifth reactivation. So it just has a few little particles uh, hanging around. But they're fantastic and you can just keep using these off the palette by reactivating them until you're finished. Now, if you're finding that you're getting too many little undissolved bits of dye powder, you just wipe the palette off and start again. Honestly, it uses that little paint. It's fantastic and gives beautiful results. And that's just some of the things that you can do with Lindy's Magicals. Pretty magical, hey? If you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to give me a like. And if you'd like to see more from Sparkle Tart, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a product list below the video in the description. And you can connect with me via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, or Google+. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.